Her party shouldn't. dead, yet shall he live. Thou turnest men to destruction, but then thou sayest, come again, you children of men. As soon as thou scatterest them, they are even asleep, and fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green, but in the evening it is cut down, dried up, and withered. And when all our days are gone, we bring our years to an end, as it were a tale that is told. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? Present. Fire! Army takes your son and gives you back a cardboard box. You're Jamie, aren't you? Started the same time as Alex. He told us about you. You were on the operation when Sam died. Yeah. Were you the one who was with him? Yeah. We all were, Mrs. Leonard. But Sam didn't suffer. Good. It was a successful operation, wasn't it? Yes. Nobody hurt? None of the hostages? No. Your car's ready, whenever you are. Keep an eye out for Alex, won't you? I don't want to lose another son. Scotch, large Scotch. Yeah, I'm nice getting them. A couple more paints. Hen Going home. Oh. You've got to be joking. No. Oi, come on, don't be stupid. Hen come on. Hey, hey! You get caught! Hey, listen to me! You get caught and you're out the regiment, yeah? Now, I'll tell you. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. I'll take him home. I'm sober. Get him in the car. You all right? Yeah? What? What? Good night! Never seen him that pissed. He's never lost a man under his command before. You like cars, don't you? I saw your record. I saw your first car when you were, what, 12? Your last when you were 18. I like cars. I want to get away. But before you pass sentence, my lord, I should like to point out that my client has just been accepted for the Royal Logistics Corps. Bit of a jump, eh? Mechanic to the regiment. Fair play to you. 
fair play. I stuck one on, uh, on Ricky, didn't I? Yeah. I thought I did. Wanker. 848 metres to the centre of target with an 18 mile per hour west wind. Deviation on 850 is about three inches, but the shooter didn't allow for the backdraft from the tree. So, what's the punchline? The punchline is the bullet demolished two stone urns and went on to bury itself nine inches into the chateau wall. A half a mile. It's either a Barrett or an AW50. Exactly. We suspect the shooter and the rifle are now in the UK. This is the first time one of these has gone wild on the mainland. Are you interested? Of course. We have a mole infiltrated into a hardcore anti-globalist faction based over here. And we have a couple of names in the frame as possible shooter. But arresting them would be too obvious. An arrest wouldn't necessarily get us the shooter or the rifle. On the basis that they aren't very proficient with the rifle, we propose to give them someone who is. One of you. Introduced to the group as our operative's boyfriend. Mm. Uh, excuse me. This person who's meant to infiltrate the anti... Your mole. Who one of us has to be the boyfriend of. Is a woman, isn't it? <laughs> who do you want? Your best sniper. It's Jamie or Jim. Jamie. With the rest of you doing close surveillance and backup. <coughs> Tony Buckley. You don't look very much like him, but that's irrelevant. None of the AGs will know him. He's been in Africa the last 30 months. What if he comes back? He won't be coming back. Mobility troop killed him last week. Family? Funeral? That was his funeral. Learn this. Brought up in Manchester. Schools. Joined the Royal Staffs in 96, made corporal by 98. Came to this place for selection twice and failed twice. Both times are being a bit of a tosser, basically. Good fit for you, I'd say. The belt has got a radio mic. Stitching's wire filament, that's the aerial. Battery goes in here, replace every 24 to 48 hours. And I'll get the Aston Martin. Now, you've just flown back in, and our girl Lorraine is an old flame. Passport, a couple of old ticket stubs, a couple of photos, a postcard. That's Lorraine, by the way. Now, I guess you're going to need a couple of sunbeds. He won't have time giving pills. You meet her tomorrow, join the group the day after. We have to get you in there, get them to trust you. We have to do it fast. Hello. All right. I'm Lorraine. Yeah, uh, Tony. Nice to meet you. Oh. OK. I suppose I'll have to tell them you're my bit of rough or something. Tony. Hey, Tony Marisol. All right. <laughs> Flossie, this is Tony. So, uh, what do you want? Zombie's the easiest, and we're out of furry animals. Zombie sounds fine.
Thanks, Tony. You're my hero. <laughs> I enjoyed it. First riot. It was a march, not a riot. Could have filmed me. Oh, no. You okay? Mm, yeah. So you enjoy that? Yeah. When's the next one? <laughs> they did a job on you, all right. You should have seen the state of that, Matt. Where's Lolly been hiding you? Uh, Africa. Cool. Where in Africa? Here and there. Congo. Sierra Leone. What were you doing there? Traveling, you know. Do people travel in the Congo? Well, work and travel. Were you a mercenary? Bingo. I knew there was something about him. You're a soldier, yeah? Or were? I sussed it the moment you came in. Who are you fighting for? Did I say I was fighting? You didn't say you weren't. Were you with Unita? Unita was in Angola, mate. Were you in the army here, originally? <sighs> yeah. Uh, six years or all staffs. Why? What possessed you to join the army? Listen, I'm a bit knackered to go through a full interrogation. Sorry, Tony. He could be like that. Do you want a bed? I mean, I have a spare room. You can both stay if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh, this is cosy. Shh. I've got a nice, strong feed from Jamie's, Mike. What a grocky bed. Still this. You can sit down, I won't bite. Really swollen. All right, stand down, everybody. I was enjoying that. I'll do first stag. Chicken bags are upstairs, and you can have a light on up there. Alex is quiet. He's hardly spoken a word to Jamie since Sam died. Do you think he blames him? They'll have got it off their chests a bit after the pasting they gave each other. And how are you going to get it off your chest? I'm sorry. Sam, it's what's bothering you, isn't it? Pillow talk. Don't do it. Sam knew the risks. I'd be prepared to take them. I wouldn't mind having a go at that in there. What, shagging Jamie? I was operational with debt in Northern Ireland. I don't see why I have to be just a tea lady for the regiment. Yeah, and if the lads were a little upset over Sam's death, how are they going to feel about a woman being dismantled in front of them? You sentimental old thing. Anyone for a cup of tea? in my jacket. I wasn't looking for money. Just checking. What? Who you are. We have to be careful. Careful of what? People are after us. For dressing up as rabbits? <laughs> it's very effective. You know, when the police are kitted out like something from Terminator to uh, confront them dressed as rabbits. It makes them look even sillier than we do. I'm sorry about this. It won't happen again. And they're waiting for you across the road. Gutsy one, and him, Simon. Didn't get to speak to him, but he's got um, an edge. I don't know. 
Listen, I have to worry about Lorraine now. She's a bit delicate to be thrown in the middle of it. Tough. Mate, do. Use your sensitive side. She's wobbly. Then hold her steady. Are you getting on? I've hacked into the woman's computer. Security is quite tight, but I'm in there. I'm also copying a few floppies she has beside the machine. Done every square inch. No sign of rifle or ammo. Putting on camera in new bedroom ceiling walls. <laughs> Whoa, heads up. X-ray's turned around and he's walking back towards the house. About 150 yards. Have that. Guys, clear the house. You've got 30 seconds. Get going. Twenty-five seconds. Twenty seconds, get on with it. Shit. Somebody's coming in the back. No time upstairs. Seek alternative exit. Ah, there you are. Bro? Yeah, thanks. Sorry, love. Yeah, this was interesting. I got knackered. What was? Maps and A to Z's. London, Basingstoke, Bristol and Bath. I'm getting too old for this. You are. That Pillock's just twisted his ankle. Only twisted. We've got Flossie's internet history. She's been running searches on Tony Buckley. Could she have found anything? Well, I did it myself before we sent Jamie in. There wasn't anything. Australian film producer, Cardia, nothing on our Tony but I'll check the site she's been visiting. Listen. Did you ever kill someone? <laughs> now, there's a stupid question to ask a mercenary. What's it like? I mean, how do you keep calm? How do you crush your compassion, steel yourself to take another life? Just think about getting the round down and in the target. Tap. Tap? Yeah. Tap. Move on. Next job. That cold, eh? That's what you try for. I enjoy it. Being good at it. I was in the Sudan. Seen a lot of death there. Mostly starvation. What was you doing? <laughs> what was I doing? Yeah. I was taking photographs. Nice, arty, beautifully composed studies of dying babies. Then back to the hotel, my bottle of Evian. It was all about debt. You see, the country could never be made to run at a profit, so the West could choose between writing off the debt 
or shoring up unpopular regimes by flogging them weapons, which, of course, meant more debt. So guess what they chose? The men who make those decisions deserve to die. Do you know the name Lundberg? Lundberg? Yeah. European bank or something. Someone had a shot at him a few weeks back. But sadly he missed. Just get the round in. Tap. Move on, next job. Well, what a difference a bit of training can make, yeah? And how much better to kill someone who deserves to die. You wouldn't have missed, would you? Listen. We'll, um... We'll talk again, yeah? Yeah. probably so used to this you don't know what I'm talking about but but I can't go out there I mean I need to pee really badly but I can't go out in case anyone's okay. there shh. <laughs> shh. I won't shush I don't I'm care who I'm hears down. I just want to go shh. but I don't want to Sorry, anyone for tea? Oh, sorry. Marital strife. Yeah. Simon left you a message. He said he'd be back tomorrow evening and he wanted to know if you'd be here. Yeah. Listen, uh, me and Molly are gonna get away for a while. Give you guys some space. Back tomorrow. If that's all right with you. Yeah, well, it's not all right with me. I've got half the regiment stood to watching. That's she? your problem. And Lorraine is yours. She's not up to it. She's gonna crack any moment. If I go back in there, I'm going alone because she'll... She's a sweet girl, yeah? But she's not up to it. It's not her fault. She's a university graduate. She's not been through six months of SAS training. Yeah, well, we're supposed to be the ultimate professionals, and this is just a joke. He's right. Of course he's right. But he can't go back in there without her, otherwise his cover will be compromised. So you have to sort her out and give us back a functioning operative. Oh, and if she puts him on the line again, I'll tell him to kill her. Do we understand each other? Yeah. Right, Caroline, you can thin for the evening. The rest of the team will stay on surveillance. I'm gonna duck back to Hereford and give a sit rep. Oh, and while you're sorting out your operative, get the rest of your mob to find out where and when Lundberg is most vulnerable for a hit. Have you got anything from the girl's computer? No, but well, I... Then can... get on with it! Home. Couldn't sleep. You pissed?
bad idea. Yeah. But you would have done. If you let me go operational with the team, yeah. Hereford, an ops. I'm king of the castle. Outside, at home, I'm nothing. I rage about, and they just watch, waiting for me to leave so they can get on with their lives. But it's worse at the moment? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to work, that's all. How's it been? It's a quiet night all round. And what did you get up to? Hello there, you two. Lorraine, we'd just like you to know that we really appreciate what you're doing. We know it must be tough for you. You're a brave girl. Thank you. I'm sorry, I... Forget it. Jamie, it's pretty clear now. If it does happen, it'll be Lundberg again, so keep your eyes open. Off you go. Here's something. Again? Lundberg. Thursday. Bastard. She's not sure about that. Where is he on Thursday? Well, he's scheduled for a dinner in Prague on Wednesday evening, and then he's in Geneva on Friday. A man like Lundberg doesn't spend a whole day doing nothing. No. Right, without him knowing, let's find out where he is and what he's up to on Thursday. OK. I want to play. Okay. Then I have to move. Come on. Yeah? Just want to sort something out. See you later. Okay. Come on, we have to move. Jamie! Heads up, they're leaving the house. Where are Pete and Alex? Stand by, Pete. Party leaving the house. All right, Ricky, you and Jim take the other car as support, but be ready to step in and hit them. This looks iffy. No, no big worries. Jamie looks pretty relaxed. Then why hasn't he warned us? And why aren't we picking up his mic? He's not wearing his belt. Should we not intercept and lift him? No, I'm sure he'd let us know if he wasn't up for it. Let's just hope he can read them better than we can. Turning left into Jamaica Road, still have him well within visual sight, and also have him on the tracker. Where are you, Pete? We're about 100 yards behind. We can still see him. Yeah? Yeah, we'll be there in a minute, maybe two. Yeah, we're just coming up to the main road now. OK. Yeah, OK, we'll flash you when we see you. Ooh, left. Turning left. Hang on. What the hell was he doing? 
changing cars here. Changing cars in Europe. I don't believe this. They're changing cars. Say again. Legging it over a bridge. All right. Calm down. They got a car waiting. Red Rover 75. Red. Bravo. X-ray 51. Alpha Whiskey Fox truck. Bollocks! There's worse. There's no sound from the house and nothing on the CCTV. The birds have flown. One step forward, two steps back. The step forward, we believe it's Lundberg. We think it's Thursday. The two steps back, we've lost Jamie and Lorraine for the time being. So isn't it time to speak to Lundberg? No, he might abandon what he's doing on Thursday, plus he may have a mole. Either way, we lose our x-rays, the gun, and our people. My guess is we'd be lucky if we hear from Jamie before they lay up to make the hit. So the priority is finding the location of the hit. Box. Yeah, if you want to gather around here, OK. That's why there was nothing on computer for us to crack. The secretary manages the diary. So we need to have a look at it. Pete, Alex, pack your bags. And your poor scar. And the rest of us? One small thing. Jamie's belt wasn't in the house either. No, it won't. Right, it wasn't with Jamie and his group. It's not in the house. Maybe it's with Lorraine. What's the range? Depends on the area. Line of sight, two to three miles maximum. Right, circulate the wavelength to everyone. Cars, helicopters, it's not much. Might be something. It's different. this. It's all right, Tony. Just a precaution. Well, it's not very pleasant where I'm standing. No, well, we can't be too careful. Recognise it, AW50F. It's yours. On loan. You get to kill someone. What do you say? Yeah, I'm up for that. As long as I don't get caught. We won't. We're very well organised. See. It's clear. One at a time. We have six. Will that be enough for you to zero it? Yeah. OK, there's a sign. It's exactly 904 metres from this rock. Now, Tony, we have moved Lorraine to a safe house as a insurance that you cooperate. What are you talking about? She's fine. And she'll stay fine. Just as long as you show that you're not all mouth and put a bullet through that circle on the sign. If you don't, then Rod will do something unpleasant to her. We're slightly more serious people than you thought we were, aren't we?
That's the one. Right on the button, perfect. Do it again. Catch him so he doesn't hurt his head. <clears throat> we'll rob him then. And make it look good. LHR 1100, a GNF 1430, and the letter B. Well done, mate. LHR is Heathrow. So, he's arriving 1100 at Heathrow, and he has a meeting with GNF at 1430. Who are they? I'll get on the search engine. Yeah. Great. I'll wait. There's been a phone call made from a mobile belonging to Rod. I'm just waiting for the guy to ID the beacon through which the phone was channeled. Yeah, if they've got the belt with them. Yeah. Thanks. Maidenhead. Right, you get over there with one of Box's mates. Take all the tracking gear you can lay your hands on. Are you carrying? Yeah, well, you only use it in extreme circumstances. Remember, you're still the tea lady. Now we're cooking. Anything on GNF? Not yet. Okay, if you want to come with me, yes. you and I can take north and west. We'll send the other two south and east. South and east, okay. Hello. Pete. Shit. All right, get back as soon as you can. Lundberg's landed, but he's booked a helicopter. Patience, patience, calm and patience. Caroline. Yeah, still nothing. Yeah, well, you've got three hours. I know. Look, don't worry, we'll find Hang on, pull in. Pull in. Penno, I'll get back to you. I think we've got something. No, it's nothing. We're just picking up TV. Wrong wavelength for television. That's the radio mic picking up a TV playing in the room. Brilliant. No, it's gone. What? No, it's just gone. I can't have come here. Completely lost the signal. We're so close, it's about 230 degrees. Where are we going? Here. Yep. Okay, now drive. Damn. I'm not going to find them if they're on the move. Follow. No, stop and treat yourself to a little chef, you beauty. Would you a bit of luck? You stay with them, yeah? Joining 833 southbound. Got it. Hey, Grossman and Fletcher. Of course, the lip reader. Flossie wasn't saying Lumberg Thursday bastard. She was saying Lumberg Thursday Basingstoke. Merchant bankers specialise in arms brokerage based in Basingstoke. Naughty little Lumberg, eh? Yet I 
can still see her. She's just turned off the main road. Just coming into Basingstoke. No. We're on our way, ma'am. I'm not gonna bother with a bullet. Get into position. It'll be here in a minute. Away. Just hold on. I'll go in and find the exact location. No, no, stay in the car. No, I can't hear you. Yeah, your breath. Up. Caroline, don't. Uh, hello, I, I, can't... I know what you're trying to do. Up. Caroline. No, I can't hear them. Caroline. Up. Pardon your resolve. Lumberg doesn't die. She does. Load it. Do this. You're not going to kill an innocent man. <laughs> You're not innocent, Jamie. I don't know who you are, and I don't really care. All I want is Lumberg dead. Now get into position. Aye. You're just going to kill me afterwards anyway. <gasps> no. I won't. You have my word. As Lumberg, we want. And when he's dead, you and Lorraine can go. Even if it means we get caught. Killing Lundberg here at his feeding trough is well worth a few years in prison. The shoot him and we can all go home. Please. Please, we'll say we did it. Remember, he's not a person. He's just a target. Do it! Yeah, well, that's a good sign. Sit. Very good. <laughs> 